Today we're doing a riparian buffer zone planting. We're in here in Stewartstown along some Class A trout water that, that feeds into Muddy Creek. So a project like this to try to limit a buffer zone planting, this fits right into the mission of TU. Riparian buffer zones are a really important ecological tool in maintaining good water quality, make sure we've got cold, clean water and good habitat for fish. The other thing it means for TU is getting all these people out here. And we probably had 40 volunteers today, all volunteers from the community, you know, just a real good grassroots effort, people that want to get involved and, and do the right thing for their community. So we have uh, funding right now to do holistic reforestation work. So we pay for everything, the trees, the shelters, and then three years of maintenance as well. Uh, so part of my job is working with the landowners, figuring out what their objectives are uh, for this area beyond just turning it into a forest. But you know, whether it's wildlife habitat, whether it's pollinators, whether it's both, whether it's everything, uh, figuring out what those objectives are, choosing the species and the layout that'll meet those objectives, um, and then uh, uh, getting it done. So this is one of the best things we can do for water quality, is, is restore a riparian forest. Riparian just means streamside in Latin, so that's where we're focusing here. Uh, the first thing that these trees are going to do is stabilize that bank to reduce the bank erosion. When a bank starts moving around, eroding away, all that soil has to go somewhere, and usually what happens is it just smothers the substrate. So there's no rocks, there's no more cover for any bugs, there's no more cover for any fish. really reduces the quality of that water for, for organisms to live in it. Uh, but then also this is going to filter all the runoff even if that soil is, is very well taken care of behind me on that cornfield There is going to be runoff over this field But a forest will filter that runoff so that by the time it does reach the stream It's a lot cooler and then additionally and this is super important for the water quality uh, for trout in particular uh, Is this will put shade a little bit more full shade over that stream We have a lot of shade on the other side, but not as much on this side uh, That's really important for keeping that water cool trout need super cold water Water. Uh, and as soon as we start to get up a little bit too high, we lose some of the bugs that live in that water. We get a lot less trout reproduction. We want the stream to be full of trout, full of reproducing trout, and full of trout food. So keeping it cool in addition to keeping it clean is super important, and the trees are the best thing we could do to accomplish that. I think it's a huge investment in the long-term value of this property. Um, these trees are going to protect this, this stream for years and years to come, and it's, so I think it enhances the value of the property from that perspective and I think it's a tremendous example to my grandchildren as a commitment to the land. The process has been very friendly and very pragmatic. The Muddy Creek TU has been very friendly and very, very uh, encouraging. Um, the Alliance has been exceptionally easy to work with. It's a very pragmatic simple process with not a lot of stipulations or requirements. It's what do we have to do to get trees planted? It's that simple. One of the really cool things about this project was the partnerships that we had. First of all, with the Alliance for the Chesapeake, they provided all the materials and the trees out here today. So we really appreciate their involvement and commitment to the project. Um, and in addition to that, the, the landowner, the White family has been extremely gracious and just wonderful partners and wanted to do the right thing with their land and, and really care about, um, care about our mission in TU. So other, other landowners, we'd love to get involved with them. And we have a lot of different things that we can do um, you know, with land around in, within the watershed to, to really improve it, whether it be a buffer zone planting, uh, streamside improvements, or things of that nature. So we'd love to get some other landowners involved and, and partner with you in the future.